So if you're brand new to the concept of everyday carry, also known as EDC, then you may want to be aware of a few brands out there. And I'm not going to probably get into like real detail of like model numbers and things. I might mention a few, but this is a request video. There's a, a gentleman that's new to the channel. Hey, welcome aboard. Um, he's, he's asked a question. Uh, what brands should I give a hard look at to construct my everyday carry? And this is a good question, really, because if you don't really follow companies and you don't really know of a lot of brands or you don't follow brands, then this is a big mystery. And I just take for granted that, you know, I and you guys, most of you guys as well, probably take for granted that you know what you know. And if you don't know about the companies that produce gear for EDC, then how would you know what they offer? So the thing about this is this, it's a little bit more kind of, of a preference, you know, um, for a lot of this stuff. And so that's why it's a little hard to say, well, all you got to do is check out these brands and you're solid. Well, yeah, you can get solid gear from certain companies. That's a fact, but it may not be your preference. You, you may not like the designs. You, you may not like how it feels in your hand. You may not like the price, you may not like the materials, and overall you just may prefer colors and things that aren't even produced by these, these companies. Some people are very particular, and there's nothing wrong with being particular. It's just that you got to know where to go to shop, <laughs> because otherwise you won't be happy with you know what's typically found out there. And so... I'm going to go out on a limb and just kind of recommend or just suggest or highlight a few things here. A few things that have worked for me and a few things that definitely worked for other people. So I'm just kind of using a collective uh, approach here uh, to give them brands. So let's just first talk about your flashlights. You know, flashlights are carried in EDC. And uh, also in this video, I'm just going to be talking about three categories. Otherwise, the video would go on for hours. So we're just going to talk about lights and blades and firearms, just those brands, and we'll cut it off. Because most people by now have already have a, a key ring system and a wallet and a phone and a few other things. You probably have, you know, a hat and eyewear and a watch. You pretty much know what you like there. The big questions really come down to the gear is like multi-tools, blades, lights, and firearms. And that's typically, if you're new to EDC, this is kind of the the whole question, you know, of where, to, where to start. And we can start with these brands. So with the lights, I would say definitely check out Streamlight. I would check out Olight. And I know that a lot of people who are not into lights would be thinking that I'm going to say Maglite, but I, I would not... Uh, I would probably not go there first. It's not that I would say completely avoid Maglite. It's just if you look around, you'll see that they're really not playing the same game in terms of like being advanced, you know, in terms of their products. So like keeping up with the Jones, if you will, within the tech world. So I just for me personally, I kind of skip over Maglite. But you have Phoenix and you have Through Night. And for me, I recently discovered Lumentop. And I know it's been out for a few years, the brand, but it's actually a really good brand. If you're on a really deep budget, Lumentop is amazing. It's it's a very high value um, for what they put out, you know. And I, I kind of foresee down the road in a few more years, their prices are going to probably have to go up quite a bit. The quality is just that good. So right now, you're getting some really good deals. I mean, steals. Uh, on their products, you know, especially when you catch them on sale. It's just, I just got me a Lumen top that was like 40% off. And it's like, oh my goodness, it was, it's such a good light. And uh, I'll be doing a review down the road when I get a little more time with it. But already I'm just totally into it. And before this light, I got a, a AAA keychain light and it was just amazing. That I got that one for like $10. 
And I'm like, man, it, it's it's just like a light that you would expect to pay 20 to 25 easy, you know? And uh, so Lumen Top is amazing, but there's a lot of people who kind of gravitate towards Streamlight and Olight for the most part. There are some people that also say, hey, Surefire. Surefire is a, uh, also very popular, but, you know, once again, if you're new to this, are you really going to want to drop 60 to a hundred, even two hundred or more dollars on a flashlight. Probably not. Most people, when they start out, typically are kind of more comfortable at the fifty dollar or less range for their light. I know I was. You know, um, I think that some of my first good lights cost around like forty bucks, and that was even kind of difficult for me to do. I, I didn't want to pay forty bucks. I was like, man, I just can't believe it's that expensive. Now for forty bucks. You can get such a great light. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Like years and years ago when I dropped $40, you know, it was a decent light. But by today's standard, it's kind of just very average. But now for even $20, you can get an amazing, incredible light that you're going to be really proud of. And you probably get many, many years out of it. So uh, just be aware of that there are lights that have, you know, the ability to be rechargeable and there's are so much to, to be, you know, to look into so much to, to learn when it comes to lights these days. And of course, uh, some people prefer uh, headlamps for certain activities, but for everyday carry, most people don't walk around with headlamps. They have a little flashlight. And for some people that are into like uh, minimalism, they may not want to put like a light, you know, in their pocket or have a, pocket size light they just may want a really small keychain light and maybe that's their whole thing and they don't want anything more than that and so you have a whole world of options when it comes to keychain lights and i'm telling you uh, for anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars for a keychain light i mean you can get quite a bit quite a bit there's a lot out there and so check that out the next category is going to be blades and once again, this is a lot of preference. You want a, you know, a neck knife, a pocket knife, a boot knife, inside the waist fixed blade, because they have all kinds of, you know, small, compact, EDC size fixed blades now. I mean, the sky's the limit in terms of like what type of material do you want? Do you what type of size? What type of design? What type of price range you're in? I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And now this is very difficult to narrow this one down. But I can tell you without any reservation, the first brand that I think of is Spyderco. It's just boom, right there, Spyderco. I mean, to me, they're the leader. They're the leader in terms of production knives. And they also do some limited editions and some custom, you know, uh, productions from time to time. You know, they have these sprint runs and things. But just for production blades, Spyderco is like number one. It's in the top, you know, at least in the top five for sure. Just no question about it. Now, in terms of other brands, I mean, this is where it gets really kind of like personal because it's like just depends on what you're into, you know. And so it's really hard for me to even want to go further than this. Uh, but I'll maybe just like name like one more brand. And that is uh, Buck Knives. Now, Buck Knives, they have a full range of quality and materials and prices too. So, you know, I wouldn't get their cheapest stuff and, and there's no reason to buy some type of really, really collectible version of something, but you can go in the middle and for typically like 40 to $50, you got quite a few things that you can pick from, from Buck Knives. If that's not your style, let me just add one more brand. Cause once again, there's so many brands to pick from. And you probably have heard about some of these brands because some of these are definitely in the mainstream. Uh, but, you know, you have Kershaw and Kershaw has a bunch of stuff, too. And for typically under $50, you have a lot of options with that company. Now, when it comes to the neck knives, I need I need to also drop a, a name there as well. CRKT has a, a few really good neck knives. And uh, I just would kind of like caution you that there is a brand that's very well known and that's Gerber, that it's very hit and miss. I'm not going to sit here and say that they all, they make only crap. They, they don't. They have some good stuff, 
but it may only be, and this is just in my opinion, maybe like somewhere between 10 to 20% of what they make is good stuff. And then the other stuff is really hit and miss. And so there's all, it's, this is pretty much, you know, common knowledge. If you, if you're into this, you know, into this information that there's a lot of quality control issues, the quality control really bounces around and there's a lot of import stuff that Gerber puts out. And so typically speaking, you're going to be a lot better off or the odds are going to be in your favor that you'll get something that's good if it's U.S. made. Uh, you may get something that's, you know, works just fine that's an import, but it's a real gamble. Let's just leave it at that. So if you're new to carrying a blade, you know, I would probably avoid Gerber for a while until you kind of do more research and figure out what's good and what's not. And while we're talking about blades, you know, some people don't even carry a pocket knife. They just carry a multi-tool and use the blade on their multi-tool as their cutting tool. And that's definitely an option. So what about like dropping a few names with multi-tools? Now, this is one that Gerber could possibly be okay. There are a few Gerber multi-tools that do just fine, you know. Uh, so that could be an option. Um I would kind of avoid the SOG multi-tools. That's just me. They kind of hit and miss uh, pretty bad. Um, so they're just not really hard use multi-tools from what I've been able to see from friends and just reading a lot of reviews. They're just really hit and miss. Uh, they look good, but that doesn't mean that they're like really hardcore, good, you know, long-term users. Uh, but in terms of those that really are worth the money, for the most part, you got Swiss Army, uh, you know, knives, multi-tools. So like Victorinox and Winger. And also you got Leatherman. And uh, and there's certainly others. But that's a good starting point. And lastly, let's go ahead and jump into handguns. Now, you may like a semi-auto versus a revolver. I mean, there's all kinds. You know, you may prefer a pocket, you know, pistol over inside the waistband or over something that's uh, open carry. Uh, you may want to um, have a a shoulder holster, you know, or an ankle holster. I mean, there's so many ways to carry a firearm, and there's so many preferences there. I mean, you may want a really light gun or a really small gun, or maybe you want something a little bit larger. What I can tell you is this. There's a reason why there's certain companies that really stand out. It's because they have a lot of options. I mean, Glock has so many models to pick from. Uh, SIG. SIG is also another company that's just, there's so many things to pick from. It's overwhelming almost. You also have Ruger. And you also have uh, Car Arms, which is really underrated in my opinion. And there's just a whole host of other companies, you know, Um uh, Smith and Wesson certainly has to be in there, but once again, we can we can talk about this for a long period of time. So, just look at some of the better selling models. You know, just do a quick search on Google, and you'll see that these certain brands will come up over and over. And uh, just because it's kind of fun to do this on this particular category here, if you're looking for a little more of like a hand filling, you know, handgun that's going to be somewhat compact. It's not going to be a pocket pistol, but just more of a hand-filling pistol. Check out the Glock 43X. If you are looking for a pocket pistol, the Ruger LCP or the LCP2, because they're both still being made, that's a really great option. If you're into Smith & Wesson, the Smith & Wesson Shield 2.0 is pretty nice. Very ergonomic, and it's not too heavy. It's, it's a pretty small gun overall. And once again, we can keep on going, but there's a good starting point there. So I hope this video helped for all the newbies that just started to get their everyday carry system together. You know, if you're just starting to collect items and you're testing to see what works for you and your lifestyle, that's awesome. I, I wish you the very best. And it's a very fun thing to, to kind of do. And you'll notice over time, you'll switch things out and you'll find that some things just work better than others. You know, so you may first start out carrying a full size pen, but then you'll find that, oh, you know, it's a lot more comfortable to carry a compact pen. And then you'll notice that, man, it's even better when the pen's lightweight. <laughs> and so you'll figure this out over time. 
And then once you refine this more and more, even things that you've been carrying with you for a long time, like just say your wallet, you'll kind of look at it in a different way and be like, man, I don't want this big, heavy, bulky leather wallet. I want maybe a streamlined nylon wallet. And and all this stuff in my wallet is not necessary. I could take half of that out. And so you do that and you find that, wow, carrying a wallet is a completely new experience. And that's what I've done over my life. You know, I I started, you know, a certain way. And then over time, everything changed for the better. And I would encourage everyone to kind of question of why they carry what they carry. And over time, you know, that will allow you to grow uh, into a system that meets the challenges that are in your lifestyle. And over time, life is more enjoyable because you have the tools at the ready to solve any problems that may come about. As always, thanks for checking the video out. Catch you later.